This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. How did you do with your center box headings? Did you get all those, those headings exported? As you can see, just a moment ago, I got my tour hour dojo heading text exported out of the layout. So I'm ready to move on to the next step here. So if you have any selections here, any marching ants, you can go and get rid of the selection by hitting Control or Command D. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to extract the center box background as a graphic, that gradient background. Now, before we do that, I have to kind of let you in on something that's a real pain in the neck. Because we've been isolating individual layers like Tour Hour Dojo or Meet Your Sensei or what have you, we now have the very slow and painful task of turning every single layer back on throughout our entire layout. In other words, news and events, I got to twist that guy open. I got to make sure it's turned on. I got to twist open any subgroups and manually turn on every single layer inside my layout. It's a real pain in the neck. I'm going to leave that fun task up to you. <laughs> but what I do want to show you, though, is how to extract this gradient background. I'm going to use my center box three background just because I happen to be inside that subgroup. You can use any one of your backgrounds, any one of your center box backgrounds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn off the header text to our dojo. I'm also going to turn off the placeholder photo and also the picture box as well, followed by the placeholder text. So all I want is just that background. That's really all I want. And as a matter of fact, just to clarify things here for you on screen, I'm going to turn off my news and events. So this is all I have visible inside my layout. Now you can do this whether you have everything turned on or everything turned off. We just want to make sure that inside center box three, we only have the center box object itself visible. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to turn off or deactivate the stroke or the outline that runs all the way around the outside edges of my center box object. You may recall from the beginning of the previous exercise, I said that I wanted to recreate this border or this outline using CSS. So what I'll do here inside my layers panel anyway, is I'm going to drop down my layer effects just by clicking on this little drop down guy. And I will temporarily disable the stroke there just by clicking on his visibility icon. Okay, now how do I go about actually extracting this fella out of the background? Well, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I suppose I could grab my rectangular marquee tool and select this guy and pull him out just as we did the logo and the center box headings. That would be fine. Or here's another approach. I'm going to head up to the view menu and then down to show and then I'll turn my slices back on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the toolbox and grab my slice select tool and I will select this slice. And I know he's selected because I see the golden outline, the golden highlight all the way around this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract only this slice via the save for web and devices dialog box. So I'm going to head there now, command shift S, control shift S if you're on the PC side. And here we go, we have, if I just kind of pan down here, there is my one slice that I want to pull out of the layout. And what I'm going to do just for simplicity is I'm going to stick with JPEG and maximum as far as the file format and compression quality is concerned. I'm going to go ahead and click on save down at the bottom. And what I'm going to do inside this dialog box is I want to make sure that my format menu is set to images only and the slices drop down is set to selected slices, not all slices. This is a great example of where we might use the selected slices option. I want to make sure that I'm saving into my site folder. And here's kind of a weird thing. I really don't care what the file name is. Web layout is just fine because when I click on save, I'm going to get this replace files dialog box. So in other words, what I'm about to do is replace the existing center box three with a new center box three dot JPEG. If that doesn't really make sense, go ahead and click on replace. And then what we'll do in just a moment is we'll go and see how things turn out 
over inside Dreamweaver. 